Hello everyone, this is Ding Ting with Xinhua News Agency. Now I'm reporting at the Shanghai Hongqiao Railway Station. Today marks the first day of China's 2023 Spring Festival season. And uh, you can see uh, the railway is crowded with people here. Generally, the Spring Festival travel rush lasts for 40 days, from 15 days ahead of the Spring Festival to 25 days after. So during the Spring Festival season, China's railway system faces a very high passenger load. So how is the situation here? Let's go and find it out. So as we can see, it's packed with people at the railway station. So they're waiting uh, for to check in. So what they're waiting for is the train at the 10 o'clock from Shanghai to South Beijing station. The huge and uh, bustling area where we now is the waiting room of the Shanghai Hongqiao railway station, which is the largest railway station of the Yangtze River Delta region and one of the largest stations nationwide. Okay, so, so let's talk to one of the passengers who is waiting in the line. So, hi, can we have a small interview? Uh, they open now, if you have the time. Okay, so where are we going? Uh, we, uh, we, we go uh, driving back from Shanghai to Beijing. So, are you on a business travel or I didn't get business or travel? Uh, I'm a privateer uh, and because we have holidays uh, and I work in this German school oh, in Beijing. Cool. How many times have you taken on the China's railway, high-speed train? China railway, uh, uh, let me think, uh, five times about. Uh -huh. so how do you feel? Always like? the same way, Beijing here. Oh, okay, so always from Beijing to Shanghai. Yeah, 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 yeah. N okay. Nothing else. Yeah. Okay, so how do you feel about the ch China's high-speed train? Uh, I, I, I could never imagine that they have that good uh, uh, railways uh, on, on these beton constructions and that they have no crossings, no waitings, very punctually. Uh, the train is extraordinary. So last time I, I, I made a photo from the 350 kilometer speed um, because uh, in Germany we have not, we, may, we make half of it. Okay, very cool. So I hope you can enjoy your trip. Uh, the, the trip here in, uh, by train, very good. Uh, you, you, you are, the service is very good, uh, the people are very friendly. Uh, this is, uh, it's quiet, uh, it's comfortable. Uh, I, 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 I wonder, ha having got this train, I could not imagine outside Germany having a train like this. <laughs> okay, okay, you have a good day. Okay. China has been a notable rebounder in the railway passenger trips of the country further optimized epidemic control. Last month, China announced a new set of measures to optimize its COVID-19 response, ranging from allowing home quarantine for mild cases to reducing nuclear acid tests to make it easier for people to travel and enter into the public venues. So here, what we can see is the uh, intelligent Fuxing bullet train, and the crew member uh, just uh, beside me is Wu Ling. Uh, hi. hi. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Uh, and uh, can you have a self-introduction? My name is Wu Ling. I'm a chief conductor. And uh, how long have you been work in the uh, Shanghai Railway? For about uh, 12 years. For a long time. Yeah. yeah.
so uh, this time period is for the passenger to get onto the um, high speed train. Yeah. Okay, so let's get into the train. Okay, if you please. Passenger is asking uh, Wu Ling for the directions. So, can you introduce about the uh, G10? Yeah, this is G10. This train is departing from Shanghai Hongqiao Station, heading to Beijing Nan Station. It takes about four hours and uh, twenty-six minutes, um, running at speeds of over 300 kilometers per hour and uh, this is one of the mo the fastest trains on the Beijing Shanghai line uh, okay so it usually takes about like four to five hours no. to take from Shanghai four to and a, a half oh, two and just two four and a half or oh, very very fast speed So as this year's Spring Festival travel season has started, so Shanghai has put into operations more passenger trains to handle the surge passenger flow. Railway authorities in the Yangtze River Delta plan to increase the number of passenger trains by 306 pairs to meet the needs of the passenger. According to Railway Department of the Yangtze River Delta, it is estimated that 60 million trips are expected to be made during the 40-day Spring Festival travel rush, with an average daily number of 1.5 million, up 22% 20 20 year-on-year, reaching 80% of that in 2019. As we can see, uh, some essential disinfection work has been carried out at the station to ensure the safety of the passenger. So actually, I can still remember the scene when I report the first day of the China's 2022 Spring Festival season at the Shanghai Railway Station. So it is another big railway station in Shanghai. So the number of the passengers today actually is much more than that time. So from the luggage they're taking, so we can see that most of the passengers are those who return to their hometowns. So most of them taking short and medium distance trips. Chinese people travel to reunite with their families for the Chinese Lunar New Year, the most traditional holiday in China, which fall on January the 22nd this year. So as for now, the train is about to leave in less than half an hour. So for a oh, Beijing oh Shanghai God. line, the bullet train with a speed of the 350 km per hour. So the train is supposed to get to the Beijing uh, station in about two, two and a half in the afternoon. Oh yeah. Although we have multiple choice for travel for the upcoming Spring Festival, so you can take a coach or drive by yourself. But to me, to take a railway, especially a bullet train, uh, China's high-speed train is still the most efficient way. 
So let's talk to some passenger on the train to check where are they going. Going? Hi, morning. Uh, I'm, I'm going to Nanjing. So it is a business trip or travel? Uh, I travel. I'm going to watch the war memorial. It's uh -huh. <laughs> okay. I just broke it. Okay. Yeah. So uh, how many times have you taken on the China's high-speed train? Oh, it's actually the first time. Oh, so how do yeah. you feel about this? Um, to be honest, I didn't even know I take the high-speed train. I lost my train, so I rebooked my ticket and now I'm here but I saw that it's very fast I mean 59 minutes in Nanjing yeah. oh 59 minutes oh that fast oh okay very very fast yes it's the intelligent uh, high-speed train and the name is Fuxing means rejuvenation <laughs> okay so do you know uh, the Chinese New Year is just around the corner yes yes I know I know so do you know it's the year of the rabbit? Oh, I just know that year of the tiger is ending. I didn't Again, know that. Yeah, the past yeah. year. Right, right, right. Uh -huh. I didn't know that the year of the rabbit was so coming. Do you no. have some like the New Year wish? Um. Oh no, I just opened it. 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 Oh, okay. No, I'm happy how everything is. Yeah. Okay. So wish hmm. you have a nice trip. Thank you. <laughs>你是哪里呀你好我们去济南你们是济南是回老家吗呃对是的啊你们是回老家过年吗呃我们是对是的哦这么早就就今年好像走的比往年要早一些对是哎是不是有几年没回去了呀呃没其实我们是过了办事情的
the intelligent Fuxing bullet train were put into operation for the first time on the Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway on June the 25th, 2021. So it's about uh, two years before. So compared with the traditional uh, Fuxing bullet train, these intelligent bullet train features intelligence and convenience. According to the country's Ministry of Transport, about 2 billion trips are expected to be made during the 2023 Spring Festival Travel Rush, which kicks off on January the 7th, up 99.5% from the same period last year, about 70% of the same period in 2019. Shanghai Hongqiao Railway Station, where we are, is one of the four major railway stations in Shanghai and one of the most important railway hubs in China. The Hongqiao Railway Station is located to the southwest of the downtown area. The station here consists of two floor terminal buildings and two squares. And here, what you see is the platform of the Shanghai Hongqiao Railway Station. We are now outside the train uh, G10, and uh, it is about to leave in about five minutes. As China continues to optimize its epidemic response measures, restaurants in many places nationwide has resumed dining service and the bustling traffic is also back on the street. So we believe the life and work are picking up pace. And now we are about to wrap up today's Xinhua Life uh, as the Chinese New Year of the rabbit is just around the corner. I wish you all the best and have a happy year of the rabbit. So that's all of our Xinhua Life today. See you next time. Thank you for watching.